Hey guys, so I'm having fun with these videos. I'm gonna make another one. Uh, these are the three bracelets that I have for this video. Uh, I hope it can be seen pretty well considering the lighting. But we're gonna go on with the program. Program is I'm gonna pick a, um, a sign and from there we will uh, do your spread. Okay, so let me explain. I'm gonna do the five point star spread. Basically, we're gonna go from the standpoint of your situation or question, factors to be considered, um, advice, or um, sorry, the obstacles and then the advice as well as the conclusion. Everything else is um, up to your interpretation. So I am using the Egyptian cartouche cards. These cards are pretty hard to find and they do use the uh, symbolism from our ancestors in Egypt. So without further ado, um, what I'm gonna pick is, all right, Leo. So I'm gonna put my fingers on the cards, channel Leo. And when I let go, I'll get the number to shuffle. Hmm, seven. All right. So one last shuffle before I do that. So, that makes the fourth one, five, I am going to present the cards facing you, the viewer, so, seven, that was the number I got, let's start, alright, Leo, let's do this, interesting, oof, okay, So, first off, you have nature of the problem, situation, or question, the top. Uh, basically, you, you have the Freemason symbol there, but basically it's the, the guild symbol for architects, um, creatives, as you would put it. Uh, reverse fire for comment given, factors to be considered water, the twins reverse for the advice, and then you have the winged disc, so beautiful, this is your conclusion. So uh, let me just assemble the card so it can be seen, I don't know if the display is making this justice, man I really hope it doesn't flip over, okay. Uh, let me fix it there. Okay, okay, okay. All right, no more, no more. Here you have Pata. Uh The nature of the problem, situation, or question is the creation process, creativity. Not just the creation process, but the things you put out, um, the products that that you show to the world, the the music, the art, all things that have to do with what we do with our hands, our mind or feet, what have you, this is Ptah. Now, Ptah is also um, not just the god of creativity, but also um, the god of, um, he has the qualities of being consistent, okay? So this is the nature of the problem, situation, or question. I'm sensing like a consistency in, in, in creating something. All right, I'll just leave it there. And then here you have for... Oh yeah, um, I'm going to start doing this for the first round of the videos, just showing you the spread that I do um, to give you an idea before I start jumping in. No! Oh no! Okay. Well, there it is. There it is. I don't know where it fell 
on, but okay. So here we've got the star spread, um, the nature of the problem, situation, or question, cause of the problem, reason for asking, point of interest, factors to be considered, the solution, comment, advice given, and the end result or outcome. So uh, now that I have already established the nature of the problem, situation, or question, which was a uh, pata, consistency in the in the in the creative process and the products, um, and yet <laughs> uh, to connect with that, we have reverse fire in terms of um, the comment given. So reverse fire, fire is um, that spark of creativity, that spark, that inspiration. Reverse fire is. Um, the opposite of that, telling, uh, basically giving me the message that there is um, a lack of consistency, a lack of inspiration, a lack of spark, what have you. Um, it is pointing this out. It is pointing this out, saying, "Look, there is going to be a lack of something in terms of the creation process, but um, it exists. It exists." Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my book. Um, in terms of what this specifically means. I trust my intuition, but I do like to look at the book um, because certain words pop out, just bring themselves out to me, and mm, it always usually helps in some way, shape, or form. So um, here, inertia, sterility, disloyalty, a quick temper. All right, now, um, what this mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. The intimation here is of someone who chooses to ignore all inner promptings and run with the herd instead of standing firmly for what he or she believes in his or her heart of hearts to be true. Okay. That's on the spiritual level. Um, now, on the uh, mental or subconscious level, it can mean disloyalty in some way, shape, or form. Hey, I'm, I'm just a messenger. That's that's what it says on the book. I'm not saying that anyone's disloyal to you, but it is just giving a warning in some way, shape, or form. But I, that's not the warning that I'm getting from here. I am, I am getting this message of be careful with your temper. Being careful with your temper right now at this stage when you're trying to be consistent because for whatever reason, um, this... Uh, the mood that you have really has a big toll on the creation process, um, obviously, but I don't know why, it's just really bringing out to me that, yes, there can be lack of spark, lack of inspiration, whatever, but just just chill with your mood. Um, here we have factors to be considered as water, upright water, emotions. <laughs> what did I say here? Be careful with your temper in here. Water going with the flow, um, but in this in this upright position, it says you know just yeah feel your emotions, understand that they're there, identify them, let them go to the current. Factors to be considered in terms of whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in your creation process: emotions, making sure that you just establish them, understand them, let them go. Interestingly enough, we have. Um, on the advice, we have the reverse twins. So here we have the divine feminine, the divine masculine. Now when we have this reverse, it's basically like um, what I usually get from this is a person or whatever, the situation is yearning, yearning for this something. Like something is missing on a spiritual soul level and you're yearning to find it. It's interesting in this case because I don't really get a negative tone from this. I don't really get a negative tone from this. I, I guess it's just saying like, yes, this is, this is something that happens in terms of something where there is a lack of creativity or spark or what, what have you. In terms of looking at your emotions, there is something missing that you feel. It's interesting in this case. It just, for me, it just seems like a continuation. Like, yes, you're going to have this continued conversation with yourself about what you need, what you want. In the meanwhile, I think what it's saying is just um, continue to have that. Continue to have that conversation. It might mean that you can get frustrated because, you know, you're just not getting 
um, or something is not satisfied. But what's beautiful is that we have the winged disc at the conclusion, and the winged disc um, signifies, uh, it symbolizes, you know, when something is evolving, going higher, the wings as it flies up, the disc, we can see that as the sun. So it almost reflects this to a beautiful degree. You're yearning, or the situation is yearning for a consistency in creation, and at the conclusion, if you take heed of this, understanding that, yeah, there is a lack of productivity, something, looking at your emotions, yeah, something's missing, but taking all of these inclinations in hand, we have the winged disc where you continue to evolve, to go higher, um, to making the decisions that make you feel good. Not about right or wrong. It's about what decisions make you feel good, right? So um, I'm going to go look in my book for winged disc. I always do this for winged disc because I don't know why. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful message, but when I look at the words, and, and that's the beauty of books too, when I look at the words, there's just something very... I don't know. A word has a different personality each time you come across it. Yeah, wise guidance is implied here as well as all forms of higher spiritual inspiration. Mm -hmm. Inspiration also comes under this heading, but of the kind that produces a great masterpiece, a new philosophy, or a thoroughly workable idea. Beautiful, guys. That's amazing. So, again, reflecting the nature of the problem, situation, or question of the creation, lack of productivity, feelings, something's missing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's affirming you. It's affirming you, validating whatever this is, <laughs> you tell me. And it's saying, yeah, keep evolving. Because whatever you're doing is really helping out with this. Whatever you're doing in terms of this, in terms of trying to get more into understanding this, realizing that not everybody can always be this. You can't be productive all the time. It's just not healthy. Great. All right, so I'm going to leave the card there. So with this in mind, I'm going to show you these bracelets, and you get to choose which one you like with the specific symbolism attached. I really hope this is getting enough light. This is gray with silver. This is green with silver. And this is purple with silver. Oh, I didn't notice that there was a lot of silver going on. So in terms of this, this is the message for you. This is the colors of Bastet. Um, she is the she is the the cat goddess in the Egyptian pantheon. The message that I'm sensing for you, if this is the bracelet you chose, um, have tact, have tact in what you say. Careful with um, showing your emotions so clearly. It's almost saying be more feline, be like the cat. You know, don't, don't, don't step on anybody's toes at this moment right now. Just get more in touch with the, with the elegance and the sleekness of finding your own way without having to tell anybody. Beautiful. This, <laughs> this is set. Set is the, the bad guy in, in the Egyptian pantheon, but really he has his own backstory. The message that I have for the people that chose this message for you is get creative <laughs> and I don't mean get creative like make something get creative with how you with how you channel your anger that's what I'm getting here um, how however you channel your anger your frustration get creative in how you do that Understanding ways to do that, please. And um, Anubis. This is for the gray and the silver. Again, I hope the light's doing it justice, but um, the message that Anubis has for you is being discreet. This is a time to be discreet. Anubis uh, came from a very difficult background. Um, I believe, like, belief was the product of a 
baby daddy that nobody wanted to acknowledge. But never, never did, I mean, I can't say never, but in the um, stories, Anubis did not lose his temper, did not say, hey, what the F is going on? You guys are supposed to be the adults taking care of me. No. Instead, this was the son that took care of his mom, the son that took care of his, of his stepmother. So in this case, he was very discreet. He loved his stepmom very much. He knew his mom didn't really want him. But, you know, um, he understood that at that moment his position was to be discreet. He knew that he had a higher position in store for him. So in this case, just be discreet. Be discreet. There's a lot of effed up stuff going on, but you have to be discreet about it. It's your position right now in this world. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this is for Leo. I really hope that you guys like this. Um, I think the display was a little wonky, but uh, the message rings true. So thank you so much. I think I said it so many times. But anyway, uh, take care.